So first you want to go to Restream and log into your account. And when you do that, it's going to bring you to your channel page. And this is mine, so it already has my YouTube and Facebook channels listed. But just hit Add Channel, and it will take you to this screen. And that shows you all the different options of channels you can add. Uh, YouTube and Facebook Live uh, are the two that I use, but there's you know all the different options. And with the free one, you get two choices. Uh, with the free version of Restream. Just click on the one you want to add. Mine goes straight to payment required because the free version of Restream only gives you two. But click on it to take you through a series of questions of logging in and getting permission to stream. Then click on your streaming software RTMP settings and it's going to take you to this little box where it's going to give you the two things you have to plug into Switcher. Uh, so the RTMP URL and your stream key. Uh, either have them up on your iPad, if you do all this on the iPad, you can just copy and paste or just have them so you can see them on your laptop and type them in. Uh, just click in the box there and it'll show you all the uh, details to your stream key so you can type those in. And you're going to take both of those and that's what we're going to plug into the Switcher Studio app so that it will stream to Restream and to the two channels simultaneously. Next, you're going to open up Switcher Studio. Go to the Outputs tab and scroll down to Custom RTMP. Tap on the blue arrow. That'll take you to the dialog box for adding channels. Hit that blue plus sign in the top right. That'll take you to the next dialog box where you enter all the information. Uh, first thing, give it a nickname. That's a good thing to do because later on you might find you add several channels with different settings, so it's good to have them labeled. Just below that, you'll see the server URL and the stream key ID. That's where you type in those two things we got from the Restream website. Uh, you just put them in both there, either copy or paste or type them in manually, and then you're off to the races and you're good to go. Uh, actually, you only have to do that once and then you're set. Below that, you're going to see the different video resolutions and stuff. Uh, if you hit that, it'll take you to the different selections you've got. When you do your own custom RTMP, you can change these settings to match your own strength of internet. Uh, another thing people don't think much about is the bitrate. Video bitrate works that you have all these numbers to choose from, but basically the higher the number, the better quality you get. But again, it's based on how strong your internet is. If you want to get a good idea of that, hit speed test and switch your studio will actually do a really good like real world environment uh, speed test and it'll show you how fast your upload and download is based on what it would be like to do an actual live stream. Uh, and then when you're done, if you hit save, uh, it'll save those settings and Switcher will actually set your uh, bitrate and your resolution to be what it would consider a safe and stable stream based on the strength of your internet. So that's a good tool to have. Uh, anyway, uh, once you're done, you uh, get out of the dialog boxes and you're ready to hit the uh, record and stream button and you're good to go.